you all say amen. amen. Our life is passing by. We don't know in the days to come. We don't know what will happen to our lives. But one thing is sure. It will come to an end. But before doing that, while you are still alive, share the word of God. Let Him use your life to be an example of many. Because it is not just your master that you are serving. You will be serving God Almighty. Allow Him to change your life. And that is what makes life worth living. Bishop serving the Lord is our topic this morning and I just want to uh, acknowledge um, men's team as a men of courage as a can you stand up please are you ready okay you may sit down so guys and men in here who would like to join the men's department please come because there is a whole new Discovery is a men's department. So mga tatay, please get involved with the men's department. I like to read the songs of Jesus be the center of it all because in everything that we do, brothers and sisters, when God or Jesus is in the center of everything, He makes things happen. And when I say He makes things happen, He really does. When you allow Jesus Christ to be in the center of your life, Nothing will be impossible. Amen? Amen? Now, Christmas is around the corner. Can you put the next slide, please? Christmas is now in the next corner. And I don't know if a lot of us are having a hard time making that a reality. But we continue to cope and accept what we have today. And I just want to bring all who are watching in Facebook Live, to all our brothers and sisters in Cebu and in the Philippines and all over the world, may God bless you always as you listen to the Word of God. And to everyone here, prepare your hearts and minds as we talk in detail about selfless love and our service to the people. How we can serve the people and how to serve God. I'm going to combine these two together. And I just want you to really listen. Be comfortable in your seat. Spare me 22 minutes of your time. And let's get to it. Let's begin with a prayer. Our most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful morning that you've given to each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for the life. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Father God, we, we praise you, God, because you are merciful and faithful to us. And I pray, Father, that you will continue to bless us abundantly as we serve you with all our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I, I got this and I shared this with the PNP MRP uh, with the police uh, department, Air Force, and it's all about service. Service to people and service to God. And then it answers the question, why should we serve others? Why is it important? Nga nung importante mo alagad sa matag-usap. 
Nganong mo servisyo ko niya? Nganong, why would I take a piece of myself para sa uban katawhan? And I got this from Matthew uh, chapter 20, verse 28. But before I go to that verse, there are many reasons why we, sh we should serve others. Okay? I've listed six points which I will just uh, say to you. One is because we are created for service. That's number one. I will talk it in detail later. Number two, it provides, it proves that you belong to Christ. Number three, serving others is the way to serve God. Number four, because you owe God everything. Number five, because it's the best use of your life. And number six, it will be rewarded eternally. These are the six points that I'll be sharing to you this morning of why we should serve God. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, why do some people do not like to get involved? But let's go first to Matthew. Matthew chapter 20, verses 28. It says, Just as the Son of Man did, not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. God has made an example. Jesus Christ has set an example for each and everyone. Siya mong ganit yung serve sa katawan. That he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Itapakahat. So it is our innate nature as a Christian to be of service. Amen? Amen? So if you notice a lot of brothers, a lot of Christians, why these people who have good jobs are driving for people? Why are these people are doing good in their career, but they clean the church? They win a brother and a sister. I just want to uh, specially acknowledge that. Brother Bernard. Uh, Brother Bernard Asamanga, I see him every Saturday in his own initiative, cleaning the church. And it's, a, it's a big area. And these people who loves to serve, he's a businessman, but he likes to clean the church, the toilet. Sanahon. Ano no putana, no? Because when we give ourselves for God, the Lord will bless us. Amen. Do you believe in that? When we give ourselves for the Lord, the Lord will bless us. Amen. Amen. Now, why do people are shunned away by not serving? No, they feel that they feel that they have nothing to offer. Said, "Ah, yano ro majuko? They siguro ko kinalang sa simbahan. I don't feel like I have anything to offer." Sometimes people have the mentality that all the work is being occupied. Ana, ano may mag drive? Na ano may sa evangelism? Na ano may sa life groups? I think I'm incapable of doing it. We have no. There's a thin line of reason and excuse. Karanasan somba o pasangil. Na thin line na o sa ay kani rason pasangil na ito. So, atong pantayan. Yes. Yan kaling atong rason ba? Rason ba dun na? Or asangil? Okay? Now, there's people who have, kanang, they, they, they think that their, their gifts, they don't have gifts of speaking. They don't have gifts of cleaning. Ah, I, I can't be of use in the church. Or they say, the, the available jobs, na ano may tiglimpyo, na ano may tigmaniho sa sa um, multimedia department, I cannot be of service. Or, I'm too old. Ito ang ako. Di na ako madaan. Or, I'm too young. But when is the right time? We can never get around excuses. There will never be enough excuses than to actually do it. Now, Bishop Edgar said that time is essential. And the right time to be of service to God is today. Yes. Today. Making it count. Not missing the mark. Now in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Why should we serve others? Because number one, 
because we were created for service. Gimugna ka sa pagservisyo sa Gino. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 it says, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Gimugna sa Gino because naatay bulohatun. You were not just made. You were not just born to sit down on a Sunday morning. We were created for a meaning and a purpose. Whatever place, career, position, title you have, you are created with value and a purpose. Even a clay pot, carved, formed, heated, has its purpose. Na lupig pa sa mga kaang. Sa akong panimalay, uban sa akong asawa, dahil lang kayo ng kaang. Salamat sa kaang. Huwag naman ikya po ng kaang. Joke lang to, the series. Mga tao sa doon. Amen? We have a purpose. We are not clay pots to be displayed as an ornament. We have a purpose. And today is the day of purpose. The Bible says that even before we were born, God planned a life of service for you. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Kailan ginoon ako? Kailan siya sinin mo, JR? JR, can I see your hand? It's nice to see you, brother. He knows you. Bro Alvin, he knows you. And when you know that, you can function. You can be of use to him. Before you are born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. And I know this was not written just for the sake of writing. It was written to be done. Matthew 10, verse 30. Even the very hairs not the very hair are numbered. Katong jutay ng hair. Ipaw sa nang ginawa ng jutay. Even the hairs are numbered. That's how much God knows you. So what are we keeping ourselves apart from doing what is right? The Lord knows. The reason why many people are miserable today or they feel empty because they miss the point of their life. Sometimes we are self-destructing ourselves by saying, I'm hopeless, I'm a failure, I cannot do that. Sometimes we need to overcome all our insecurities, my friends. We need to overcome all our guilt. We just need to free ourselves from the bondage and just press on forward. Amen? That point is taking that opportunity of being of service by building relationships. That's what it's all about. Yesterday, me and Pari Bobong and Pastor Bonnie, we were together with MSCP. I, they are part of the MSCP biker groups. And we saw a lot of barangay captain counselors uban na mo sa motorcycle club. And yesterday I was inducted officially by the BOD of MSCP as the MSCP spiritual advisor. And I said to them, ah, magsokod na akong trabaho, kaya inyo naman kong i-dub as spiritual advisor, so magsokod ka pagwali. Amen. Amen. The word is there. We we had a prayer and we had a good time, and they accepted the Lord mightily. It's all about building relationships. The key to everything in life is not about what you know or who you know. It's how you build relationship from one person to another. And I believe when we establish that relationship, there is a certain bond. And when that bond comes in place, trust begins to come. And when trust comes in place, 
you can lead them to the Lord. <laughs> not in religion, uh, not in religion, mind. So the trust and relationship. That's very important, my friends. That's how we be of service to one another. And I tell you, those who are actually doing are, will be shocked that, wow, I'm not like this before. I am not that kind, I am a timid person. But when you allow God, Lord, I want to be used by you. Lord, give me the courage. Give me the, the excitement. Give me the, the, the courage to reach out to my brothers and friends. But let me be a catalyst of change for them. Amen. And once you allow yourselves to do so, God will use you. And when God used you, he will use you mightily. Yes. Amen? Yes. That's what life is all about. That's the point in life. We don't want to miss that point of our life that God can use us. Because when God uses you, He will change you. He will certainly change you. You have to realize, as you serve others, your needs are met. What kind of needs? May be emotional, you become braver, you become bolder, you become courageous. You can come here on stage. Dina Kamawa, Lord, you've changed me. And once your, your needs are met, and as you give your life away, you find life. Hallelujah. When you lose your life to the work of the Lord, you find life. And that is a little bit deep, but let it sink in. Pa, sabi niya ba? Palugdangan na? Palugdangan na? And once you realize, when you let go of yourself, you get, you then receive from the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we're too tight in holding on who we are, and we are missing the opportunity to be filled by God. Let us release our old self and acquire. A transformation from the Lord. Amen? Amen? Number two, why should we serve others? It proves that you belong to Christ. In Romans 7 verse 4 it says, So my brothers and sisters, you also died to the law through the body of Christ that you might belong to another to him who was raised from the dead in order that we might bear fruit for God. Replicating, duplicating, exponential growth. That's what it's all about also. We may die from our old self, but we are renewed by God so that we may bear fruit. Because once people are blessed by your life as a living testimony, what is with that guy? Every time he comes in the room, it brightens the room. But there's an anointing that comes from God in him. Yes. And somehow, people can confide in you. People can trust you. People can relate to you. And once we become a living testimony, we become an avenue to be able to share the word of God. Because God lives in us. So when God lives in us, who can be against us? What I spiritual warfare and what I what I works of the devil that come can come near you because you have Jesus Christ in your life. Now sin may have disconnected us from God, but Jesus Christ made a way. I repeat that. Sin may have disconnected us from God, but Jesus Christ made a way. The life we live is a value even more is the person next to you. So if you value your life, value the person next to you. Cherish that. And if your loved ones are not sitting beside you, take it as a challenge. If you value your life, value your family. Value your son, your daughter, your cousin, your neighbors. And I believe uh, Sister Lizelle, Brother Alvin, you have a lot of work with you in your neighbors. And I believe there's going to be a miracle Hallelujah. in Joanna. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Do we claim that? Amen. It started before. It's going to grow. Just keep on it. Just keep doing it. That's what it's all about, my friends. We just have to try. We have to try. And we try. We fail. We try again. Until they know Jesus Christ. Sometimes the word of God, people complicate something so simple. And the simplicity of it all is that God loves them. When you say God loves you, regardless of who you are, what you have done, God loves you. And it's the beginning of a miracle in their life. And you that do it will be blessed. Amen? We were not born a mistake. We, we, we are not born a mistake. We all have our purpose. Now, I just want you to take note of this. Your personal self-worth does not come from your titles or your positions. Your personal self-worth comes from Jesus Christ. My own anatom self-worth is kutubra dihan. But when you allow Jesus Christ in your life, you have a wonderful self-worth feeling. Amen? Allow Jesus Christ in your hearts. Allow Him to move in you. Allow Him to move in your offices. Allow Him to move in your workplace, in your businesses, in your schools, in your family. And show them that you belong to Jesus by serving others. We need to serve other people. Service. Number three. Why should we serve others? Serving others is the way to serve God. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, it says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not from human masters. Verse 24, Since you know that you will receive an inheritance, take note, an inheritance, from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Not this church, not our senior pastors or our pastors, but you are working for the Lord. Yes. And in everything that we do, we give it our 100%. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 100%. May it be feeding, may it be in intercession, may it be in counting the envelopes or shaking hands. Give it your own. Because you're not doing it for me or anybody else. You're doing it for the Lord. And God sees your heart. God sees the intentions in your heart. And when He sees that pureness, He will bless you. Sometimes we need to take that risk of trying to be able to receive, not just financially, but the complete package of blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what you're doing or who you're doing it for. But you're doing it for the Lord. Next slide, please. And Matthew. Matthew 25, verse 14. Take note of this. The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So whatever you do to your countrymen, you do for your brothers, your sisters, you're doing it for the Lord. Now, number four, because you owe God everything. One value or trait of a Filipino is the ability to reciprocate. May it be good or bad. Kung sa binisaya pa ba, mubaos. Or, naikaikog. We are very known for that. Nataikaikog ang uwaw ko. Ang mubaos yung kunin mo. Sometimes we get hurt sa reciprocation sa uban tao. But we need to understand that some wars are won by being quiet. We don't need to retaliate. We don't need to get the upper hand on everything. We need to understand the situation from a distance or a bigger picture. Because once we do that, 
It doesn't disrupt our service to others. It increases our love for our brother or sister. Since we live for a purpose, let us think more of others than ourselves. Sometimes if we have that kind of attitude, then we think not of ourselves or what we will benefit from it, but what will we give to other people? If we all can have that mindset, we would have a better community. Do you agree? Yeah. Than everyone just thinking of themselves and what they're going to earn from. Sometimes, mga exon, money is not everything. Money is not everything. Some people get too greedy and it's it breaks relationships. And as a Christian, we have the habit and we have the need to create relationships, not build. So I challenge everyone, create relationships. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Forget yourself for once. And think of other people. Think of the person next to you. Think of your neighbors. Think of your close friends. Reach out to them. The reason why you serve the Lord is because of what God has done for you. Because of His great mercy. When you feel that you feel that ikaw ay dapat importante, remember what God has done. He gave His only begotten Son. His treasure. He gave that. And I'm trying to comprehend or wrap my brain around that. It's a real test. But Jesus, uh, God gave Jesus Christ, His only Son, to die for your sins and mine. To be able to serve others. When you think of that, of what Jesus Christ did on the cross, the sacrifice He has made, there is no sacrifice that can compare what He has done. So it is important that we give up ourselves for other people. Amen? Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me. He died also for your friends. He paid for our sins with His life. He died so that we may live. Isn't that worth serving and sharing God's love to your family? Amen? I think that says it all. God has made an example. And number five, why should we serve others? Because it's the best use of our life. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, Stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Whatever you're doing for the Lord, continue to do it mightily because it is never in vain. Whatever we are doing, whatever we are planting, even if it's taking a lot of our time, even if it's it's costly, even if it's Kapui. But when you're doing it for the Lord, it will never be in vain. Why? Murag mo yung dita alkansihon. Sa mga ganito siya, di ba? Di ito tam alkansis dino ang mga iso. We even receive greater things. It is not if you can do. It is not what you can do. It is not why you have to do. But your obedience to do the will of God in loving, giving, sharing, and serving others for God. So it's never what or kutobra. Just give it all for the Lord. There is no insignificant service in God's eyes. Nothing. All it takes is for you to try. Hallelujah. But what you give for the Lord is by trying. When, when you serve even the smallest way, 
you are making an impact in eternity. Now, if you want to know if someone is a good leader, watch if they do small things. Dili lang kutob sa dinagko, bisan sa binagmay. Naanas Biblia. Luke 16, verse 10. It says, Whoever can be trusted with very little can be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Amen. And the last, why should we serve others? It will be rewarded eternally. Our life is passing by. The things that we acquire, kutubrasa kamatayon. In the past two months, I have been witness of five funerals. I have spoken in almost four. And they never brought anything with them. In John 12, verse 26, it says, Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, my servant also will be. My father will honor the one who serves me. Let us follow Christ. Let us follow him with the whole being of our life. Because as according to what Jesus Christ said, where I am, there you will be also. Amen. As I come to an end in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21, it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of the Father who is in heaven. And the Lord's will is to give up your life for the service of God. And when you learn that, to serve others, not just serving yourself, your reward in heaven is beyond compare. How you spend your time here is going to done is going to be done to you in your next life in eternity. That decision, my friends, is for you to make. Whatever you decide will determine your destination forever. Life is all about choices. Left or right, yes or no. Should I, should I not? But whatever decision you make will certainly affect your destination. Make the right choice. It's coming to an end 2020. 2021 is just around the corner. Will you wait for 2021 to serve the Lord? Or will you do it today? Our goal is to hear from God. Our goal, my friends, is to hear what the Lord will say. And it says here in Matthew 25, 23. And if you just read it slowly, feel Hallelujah. that God is talking to your ears. Hallelujah. With the gates open, and he says to you, his master replied, Well done, Hallelujah. good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many. Come and share your master's happiness. When you can hear that from the word, from the mouth of God, isn't that a glorious feeling? When the Lord welcomes you to his gates, well done. Receive your crown of glory. Can we all say amen? Amen. Our life is passing by. We don't know in the days to come. We don't know what will happen to our lives. But one thing is sure. It will come to an end. But before doing that. While you are still alive. Share the word of God. Let him use your life. To be an example of many. Because it is not just your master that you are serving. You will be serving God Almighty. Allow Him to change your life. 
And that is what makes life worth living. Let's all stand. I want to make a, a challenge to you all. I want you to take this time before I come and I close in prayer. Just talk with the Lord. Just open your mouth, church. I just feel that we need to talk to God right now. Ask forgiveness for all the things that we may have done that have been hurtful to other people. Now is the time to make a difference. Now is the time to accept whatever that you have done wrong and come to account with Jesus Christ. Allow God to use you mightily in the desires that you want. Ask forgiveness. Come to in repentance. And allow Jesus Christ to touch your life, touch your heart, touch your mind, and release you from any bondages that you may be facing because you want to serve God. Make a vow, make a promise to the Lord how you want to live your life, your decisions, your choices. Make that pact with the Lord today. Father God in heaven, we come to you this morning as empty vessels. Use us as a tool. Mold us, carve us. Because we want to be used by you. We want to serve you until our last breath. We await your coming, Father. And while we wait, we want to share your love to our friends and family. Thank you, Lord, for making me a purposeful person. Thank you, Lord, for using me that I can be better of myself because of you. Father, be the center of my life. Use me, Lord. I am ready. I am ready. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord, for the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Hallelujah. You are awesome, God. You are awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we praise your name in everything that we do. That one day, according to your word, you would welcome us. Come in, my good and faithful servant. We're excited. We're excited. Praise your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
the available score, and the presence of God is available to everyone who just calls upon His name. We can bask in the presence of the Lord freely and freely. Are we glad that the presence of God is so strong and tangible in this place? Are we so glad that He is so tangible? We shut the light of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Oh, we praise your name, Jesus. You are the center of it all, God. Always has been, God. It's never been about us, oh Lord God. It's never been about anyone else. But would you say his name when we saw him, Jesus? Oh, what a sweet name. Your name is so sweet, oh God. The name that has the power to save. The name that has the power to break every chain. The center of this place, of this church, oh Lord God. Of it all, God.